Hello everyone, welcome to Daiso Design Tutorials. Today we will learn how to make seamless pattern in Illustrator. This is a floral design that I have made in the Illustrator. This is without any background. And this is another pattern with, uh, with a background of pink color. This is the color palette I have used in this design in case you need it. I will put this in the description box below. So I will just jump in and show you how to make such beautiful patterns in illustrator first of all what you need is a square the design should be on a square uh, i've used the sizes three inches to three inches uh, these are the doodles that i've made in case you need these also i'll put this in the description box below so first of all what you need to make a seamless pattern perfect type of a seamless pattern is the design the elements which are coming on the border side of this square have to be placed on the opposite side of the uh, shape so that you have a beautiful seamless pattern so first of all what i need is uh, let's suppose i'll rubber band select uh, the designs which are coming on the edge of the border and uh, these two elements have been selected so i have to copy this and paste on the right side which is the x-axis so i'll select this and copy ctrl c on the keyboard and ctrl f on the keyboard to place on the exact same location so i have to place this on the x-axis X -axis on the right side so i have to uh, increase the size go to transform and go to x axis and plus three inches so it will come on the right side as you can see it has appeared on the right side approximately to three inches and again i will go to the transform and to the x axis plus three inches it has come beautifully so again I'll uh, copy this leaf and control F and go to transform but now this has to be placed to the left side so I'll subtract three inches from this again to this leaf I'll copy and paste it and to the y axis, x axis, sorry, I'll uh, subtract 3 inches and again to this leaf, I'll copy and paste it and transform. Like this, you can do the elements which are coming on the bottom side and the elements which are coming on the top side. So, first of all, I'll uh, I'll uh, do this and just do it a bit quickly. This is on the y axis, so uh, I'll go to transform and plus three transform plus three. And to these elements again, I'll just copy and paste it a bit quick and transform. Now I have to subtract it because I want this on the top side. As you can see, all my elements have been pasted nicely so that I can have a beautiful seamless pattern. All my elements which are coming on the right side, let me uh, just review it, review it. Okay, so now what I have to do, I'll group all these elements and select Ctrl G on the keyboard. So these elements have been grouped together. Now I'll uh, uh, 
make a rectangle, click on M on the keyboard and draw a square. Now I'll change the color to pink because I love pink. Okay. Now I'll arrange this to the back and I'll make a copy of this square and place it to the front. Now I have to clip this design to the square because I want a pattern and add it to, to the swatch. So this, this pattern has been made. But I want this pattern to be saved to the sw swatches. So what I will do, I will go to the window and uh, my swatches is here on the right side. I'll just open this and what I'll do, I'll uh, just drag and by clicking on the Alt on the keyboard, I'll make a copy of this. So sorry, select this and drag this. Now, I don't want any changes to this background, to this design, so I've made a copy of this. Now I'll select this, go to Pathfinder, you can also go to Window, Pathfinder, and I'll select this and go to Crop. Now all my elements have been selected. I'll go to Swatches and drag this to here. Now this uh, pattern have been made to the swatches. Now, now I want a pattern with a different background, maybe without any background. So I'll go to this and delete the background. So only this, I'll just drag it. Drag it here. Click on the Alt. Now, select this, go to Pathfinder, go to Crop. And all the elements have been selected. Now go to swatches and drag this. Now to show you how this has come really well, go to M on the keyboard for the rectangle of the square, select and select the swatches. This has come out really well or you can select the pink one. In case you want to zoom a little bit of the elements, you can go to the right click and transform scale and uh, make sure the transform objects is deselected and I'll just zoom it a little bit to show you the preview option should be selected to preview how it is appearing okay this has come out really well and I like this background really nice this is without any background this is really has come very very nice so like this you can make a seamless pattern design for more videos just follow my uh, tutorials and I hope to see you in the next week bye bye